Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is the first time you're watching, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Luis and my YouTube channel is The Dimpled Engineer. And if you're already one of my subscribers, um, thank you very much guys for coming back and watching my videos. And you've probably know by now that I'm a big fan of Adidas Boost Equipped shoes or sneakers. In fact, I believe in the tagline that Boost is life. <laughs> <laughs> and for me guys, uh, Adidas Boost is one of the best uh, midsole cushioning technology that came out uh, this decade. So why? Because based from my experience, Adidas Boost is very very comfortable. Uh, it it uh, lessens foot fatigue, especially if you're going to use your sneakers or shoes for all day walking. For example, your, your work, like mine, requires a lot of walking because I, I do monitor the area when I'm working because I handle uh, maintenance and security. And unfortunately, I'm not a runner, but based from the reviews of those who use uh, Adidas Boost equipped footwear for their running or jogging, uh, as per their reviews, it gives uh, it gives that uh, energy return. What does that mean? Uh, whenever you're running and you press your uh, your feet against the boost it gives you the energy return or propels you again to to run continuously and helps in like what i've said uh, less less foot fatigue and as i've said guys i'm a big fan of adidas boost equipped footwear let me just quickly share with you my very small collection of adidas Boost equipped footwear. So number one, I have the Adidas Adelet Boost slides. My my very first uh, Boost equipped Adidas footwear, the Ultra Boost laceless. Next, I have the Adidas Triple Black Ultra Boost 19 for. For basketball, which is by the way my favorite sport, I'm using the Adidas Marky Boost Low in yellow and black colorway. See how nice that is. <laughs> and I also have Adidas Night Jogger. Actually, I still haven't used this because I'm planning in doing a on feet an on feet review. So watch out for my on feet review of the Adidas Night Jogger. Actually, I did uh, a review of the Night Jogger before, but that is the ordinary or regular Night Joggers. This is some kind of a special edition because this is the Night Jogger Sesame, uh, which use uh, Cordura fabric for its upper material. So watch out for that guys and last but not the least my favorite for me this is the most comfortable adidas boost equipped shoes uh, this is the most comfortable shoes that i have in my entire shoe collection so this is the adidas sense boost go so for me this has the softest implementation of the boost midsole and all of my uh, adidas boost footwear oh i forgot guys this is one of my uh, favorite uh, ultra boost in my adidas boost collection the <laughs> adidas star wars collaboration this is the x-wing X-Wing, if you are not a Star Wars fan, is the aircraft of Luke Skywalker. Nice. 
Okay, that's all guys. That's all of my Adidas Boost equipped shoes. And with that, I'm how I wish that all of my footwear, all of my shoes are equipped with the Adidas Boost or are equipped with the same kind of uh, soft cushioning. Because as I've said before, my work requires uh, me to walk, walk around for at least 70% of my working hours per day. So how I wish that all of my shoes are equipped with that same kind of softness so my feet will not be tired or feel uh, fatigued at the end of the day. Especially, one of my favorite, the Jordan 1 Low, because uh, aesthetically, this is my favorite shoes because it's classic look, never gets old. Easy to easy to pair with any any outfit of the day. <laughs> but one of the things that I don't like with the Jordan One, though, it's the cushioning is really on the firm side. It's uh, kind of stiff, and at the end of the day, it it really makes my feet tired and fatigued. I, how I wish that uh, this Jordan One those is as soft as, uh, let's say, the Ultra Boost. So one day I was browsing Facebook and I came across this insole manufacturer, which, uh, which is quite interesting and intriguing. Why? Because their insoles really looks like the Adidas Boost, and. Their, one of their taglines is uh, it will uh, it gives you all day comfort so I, wa I was quite intrigued and interested so I checked it out I read the main website and unfortunately it's not available here in the Philippines so, so I had to order it online and after reading the description on the website Actually, they they don't claim that they they are as soft or as good as the Adidas Boost. But if you're going to read the description, it somehow points to that direction. So I'm I was really interested, and I said, uh, let's try it. So I ordered it online. So after more than I think a month, because as we all know. Uh, most of the packages, the letters, the mails are all delayed because this is the result or the effect of this pandemic caused by the COVID-19 disease. So with that note guys, I'm hoping and praying that wherever you are, you are always safe and healthy and free from this virus. So guys, I always advise all of my viewers to Please stay home and be safe, be with your family. And let's pray for each other's um, health and safety. And guys, after one month of waiting, actually more than one month of waiting, this small plastic arrived from Shop Whaler Road, Orifield, Pennsylvania, USA. So this is the... Hefe Lux, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, or Hefe Lux. So this is what I'm talking about, the insoles that really looks like the Adidas Boost. So for this video guys, we will unpack this and we will try it out with my Air Jordan 1 Low. And let's see if the this insoles, the Hefe Lux will give comfort as good as Adidas Boost. So let's go guys, let's unpack and slap it inside this very gorgeous Jordan 1 Low black toe. So it's packed with this uh, aluminum type packaging which there, the, their tagline. No? 
don't know if you can see it. Designed for all day comfort. So I'm very excited with that tagline, all day comfort. Because if it's really effective, I can wear my Jordan 1 all day. Guys, let's unpack this. or holes near the toe area which probably is for ventilation for breathability and it's not that thick actually it's very thin less than half an inch perhaps and as I press against it it's quite a bit soft so if you will order this insoles it is available for only one size so what you will do is to cut your preferred uh, sizing there's size for size there's a guide for size 8 9 10 11 and 12 So let's have another look of how it looks like. So guys, I will not keep you waiting. Let's try this out with uh, the Jordan 1 low. So it's quite big. The insoles is quite big. So I have to cut this out. Wish me luck guys, I'm not good in cutting things. It's still big. I have to cut it once again. Hopefully, this will fit. So guys, I've been using my Air Jordan 1 Low every day for more than a week right now. And of course, with the Hefelux insoles. So I think it's about time for me to give my honest review, honest opinion with regards to its performance combined or used with my Jordan 1 low so but before that I would just like to uh, inform you guys that this is not a sponsored video I I bought this I paid for this I think I paid $25 for the regular regular type uh, Hefelux insoles because I think there's there's another type which is the thicker one I think that's the deluxe deluxe variant of the Hefelux insoles so okay guys my opinion my final thoughts with regards to its performance specifically uh, when used with the uh, Air Jordan 1 low so I can say when it comes to cushioning comfort level uh, I can say that there's there's an improvement Let's put it in numbers, probably around 20 to 25% uh, cushioning improvement when used with the Air Jordan 1 low. So, I just want to say that don't expect that your Jordan 1 low will magically 
turn into ultra boost like comfort level when it comes to its cushioning because you'll just be disappointed it will not uh, turn into ultra boost or any boost uh, equipped shoe uh, comfort level okay but don't get me wrong there's definitely an improvement as i've said 20 to 25 percent so i've also tried this with my coal hand zero grand for my driving shoes and i i tested it for a few days probably one or two days uh, using it for my daily walks in my job which as i if you're following my channel uh, i do a lot of walking when i'm at work probably around 60 to 75 percent of the time i'm roaming around the school i am working for so with my cool hand zero grand i can say that the improvement when it comes to cushioning is about 30 percent or maximum 35 percent uh, then again uh, don't expect uh, that putting this inside your uh, shoe will turn it into ultra boost like comfort level uh, so don't don't put your expectations to that level but once again there's an improvement when it comes to cushioning if you're asking me guys uh, do i recommend the hefilux insoles for your uh, shoes for your sneakers particularly your rubber shoes well i can say if you have the extra the extra budget and you can afford it why not go ahead there's the 25 percent improvement that you will feel for your for your stickers for your rubber shoes but for your uh let's say uh leather shoes your formal shoes the one you're using for weddings for formal parties for your formal wear i can definitely recommend the hefelux insoles i think it will be uh, more beneficial for your uh, leather shoes for your formal shoes for your hiking shoes for your boots and those types of footwear so that's all guys i hope that this video helped you and gave you an idea with regards to the performance of the hefelux insoles and guys if you happen to like this video or find it helpful kindly hit the thumbs up icon or the like icon on the lower portion of this video and if this is the first time you're watching my channel i would really appreciate it guys if you will subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you will always be informed whenever i upload videos so once again guys as i always say before i end until there's no vaccine there's no cure for this virus causing havoc and all over the world the coronavirus disease stay home guys stay safe and let's pray for each and everyone's safety and health let's also pray for the fast uh, formulation for the vaccine and medicine for this virus so guys once again thank you for watching my channel god bless